As we lift our eyes to the heavens and take in the grandeur of the night sky, we find ourselves surrounded by the glittering brilliance of countless stars, silent beacons scattered across a cosmic ocean so vast it defies comprehension. Among these pinpoints of light lies a question older than history itself, one that echoes endlessly across time and space. Are we alone in the universe? This question has followed humanity through the ages, from ancient civilizations who tracked the stars with rudimentary tools to modern astronomers wielding powerful telescopes that peer billions of years into the past. It is a question that transcends borders, cultures, and generations, uniting us in wonder and curiosity, compelling us to search beyond our own pale blue dot for signs that life in some form might exist elsewhere. Today, we stand at the edge of a scientific revolution armed with one of the most advanced instruments ever created for space exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. This state-of-the-art observatory launched into space with the hopes and dreams of scientists across the globe is poised to change the way we understand the cosmos. With its incredible sensitivity and power, JWST allows us to peer deeper into space than ever before, peeling back the layers of darkness that have long obscured distant worlds, revealing with breathtaking clarity the secrets of stars, galaxies, and planets far beyond our solar system. Among the most captivating of these distant worlds is a planet known as K218b, an exoplanet orbiting a dim red dwarf star over 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. On first glance, it might seem like just another speck in the cosmic void. But early observations have revealed that this planet is unlike anything we've ever encountered before. K218b has rapidly emerged as one of the most compelling candidates in the ongoing search for life beyond Earth, capturing the imagination of scientists and the public alike. The initial data from K218b stunned the scientific community. Not only does this planet lie within the habitable zone of its star, a region where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist, it also possesses an atmosphere that appears to contain water vapor. This alone was a monumental discovery. But then came something even more extraordinary, the possible detection of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, in the planet's atmosphere. On Earth, DMS is almost exclusively produced by life, specifically by microorganisms in our oceans. Its presence, if confirmed, could represent the first tentative whisper of alien biology. Could it be that K218b is not just habitable, but actually inhabited? To begin to answer that, we must first understand what makes K218b so unique. It is what astronomers classify as a sub-Neptune, a type of planet that exists in a size range between Earth and Neptune, but which has no direct analog in our own solar system. Larger than our home world, but smaller than gas giants, sub-Neptunes are a relatively new category of exoplanet that challenge conventional models of planetary classification. Their ambiguous nature makes them difficult to understand, and yet their potential to host life makes them deeply compelling. Our solar system offers us examples of both rocky worlds and gas giants, worlds with solid surfaces like Earth and Mars and enormous spheres of gas like Jupiter and Saturn. But K218b does not comfortably fit into either group. Its size and mass suggest that it may be enveloped in a thick atmosphere, possibly composed of hydrogen and helium while beneath that gaseous shroud could lie a vast ocean, perhaps covering the entire planet. What's more, the planet orbits. Its host star, K218, a small, cool red dwarf at a distance of just 0.18 astronomical units closer than Mercury is to our sun. But because its star is far less luminous than our own, this proximity does not result in extreme heat. 
In fact, it may provide just the right balance of warmth to maintain liquid water, a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it. This delicate balance has led to the suggestion that K218b might belong to a newly proposed class of exoplanets, Hyson worlds. Coined by astrophysicist Niku Sudan in 2021, the term refers to hydrogen-rich ocean planets that could have Earth-like temperatures and support microbial life, even though they are significantly more massive. These planets could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and twice as large in radius, yet possess global oceans and thick atmospheres that trap heat, creating a stable, life-friendly environment. Hycean planets, if they exist in significant numbers, could revolutionize our search for life in the cosmos. Because of their size and atmospheric makeup, they are easier to detect and analyze from great distances. And their wide potential habitable zones mean they don't need to orbit their stars as precisely as Earth or Mars to support life, offering a broader range of possibilities for finding living worlds. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope becomes indispensable. Its advanced instruments allow scientists to study the atmospheres of distant exoplanets by observing how starlight passes through them during a celestial alignment called a transit. As a planet crosses in front of its star, some of the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere, picking up subtle chemical signatures along the way. By breaking this light down into its component wavelengths, a process known as spectroscopy, scientists can determine the atmospheric composition of the planet. In the case of K218b, JWST's spectroscopic analysis has revealed the presence of water vapor in its atmosphere, a tantalizing sign. But even more thrilling is the possible detection of DMS, a molecule that could hint at biological activity.